Approximately 13.8 billion years ago, an extraordinary event known as the Big Bang marked the beginning of the universe as we know it. This monumental occurrence set into motion the expansion of the cosmos, a process that has continued without interruption ever since. The concept of expansion means that massive celestial bodies, including galaxies, are gradually moving farther apart. Observations confirm that galaxies beyond our own Milky Way are steadily receding from us. To measure the distance of these galaxies, scientists rely on a phenomenon called the cosmological redshift. In simple terms, the greater the redshift observed, the farther the galaxy is from Earth. However, understanding these vast distances brings another intriguing layer of complexity. As light from distant galaxies travels immense spans of space and time to reach us, we observe these galaxies not as they are today, but as they existed in the distant past. This is because light takes time to travel, so the farther a galaxy is, the older its observed state becomes. But there is a challenge. As light journeys through the expanding universe, it stretches into infrared wavelengths, making it invisible to the human eye. The Hubble Space Telescope, for example, can observe light only within the ultraviolet to near-infrared range, limiting its ability to detect extremely distant galaxies. Despite these limitations, the Hubble Space Telescope achieved remarkable feats, such as detecting GNZ-11, a galaxy observed as it existed 13.4 billion years ago, just 400 million years after the Big Bang, this galaxy, with a redshift value of 11.09, was one of the most distant galaxies ever identified at the time. Its discovery led astronomers to believe that galaxies beyond a redshift of 11 were exceedingly rare, a notion that shaped our understanding of the early universe. Then came a revolutionary leap forward in cosmic exploration, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Unlike Hubble, JWST was designed to observe the universe in infrared wavelengths, enabling it to peer into regions of space that had previously been hidden. This breakthrough allowed scientists to detect galaxies at even higher redshifts, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge about the universe's earliest epochs. When the telescope was launched and aimed toward the heavens, it began revealing an astonishingly different picture of the universe's infancy. Early observations from JWST unveiled a surprising abundance of galaxies that formed much earlier in cosmic history than previously thought. Among these groundbreaking discoveries was the Glass Z13 galaxy, detected at a redshift of 13.2. This extraordinary find indicated that Glass Z13 had formed just 300 million years after the Big Bang, making it one of the oldest known galaxies in existence. The revelation was a game-changer, as it suggested that galaxy formation in the universe's early days was far more prolific than scientists had imagined. The discovery of Glass Z13 was just the beginning. Soon afterward, another ancient galaxy emerged, existing only 390 million years after the Big Bang. These findings were made possible through JWST's unparalleled ability to capture light from the cosmos's earliest days offering an unprecedented glimpse into the universe's formative years. By August 2022, the telescope had detected a host of high redshift galaxies, each showcasing unique characteristics and challenging our conventional models of galaxy evolution. Two newly identified galaxies, Uncover Z13 and Uncover Z12, particularly stood out among these findings. Uncover Z13, with a redshift of 13.07, dates back to just 330 million years after the Big Bang. Meanwhile, Uncover Z12, at a redshift of 12.39, existed a mere 350 million years post-Big Bang. Unlike other high-redshift galaxies, which typically appear as small point-like objects, these two galaxies displayed distinctive structures. One resembled an elongated peanut shape, while the other appeared fluffy and spherical. Furthermore, they were astonishingly large for their era. For instance, Uncover Z12 spanned approximately 2,000 light-years, six times larger than other galaxies of the same epoch. Such discoveries suggest 
that the early universe was far more dynamic and diverse than previously believed. JWST's advanced capabilities hint at the potential to uncover even more ancient galaxies, further reshaping our understanding of cosmic history. Currently, astronomers are evaluating several additional galaxies, some potentially older than Glass Z13, which could redefine the timeline of galaxy formation. These findings have profound implications for our understanding of dark matter and its role in galaxy formation. Dark matter, an enigmatic substance comprising about 85% of the universe's matter, does not emit or interact with light, making it invisible to telescopes. However, its gravitational influence is believed to have significantly shaped the evolution of galaxies. Observations from JWST reveal that some of the earliest galaxies formed within 200 to 300 million years of the Big Bang were unexpectedly massive, rivaling, or even exceeding the size of the Milky Way. This defies current models, which predict that such massive galaxies should take billions of years to develop. For example, six galaxies identified by JWST, existing just 500 million years after the Big Bang, were up to 10 times larger than the Milky Way. Such findings are perplexing because they suggest a level of cosmic evolution that contradicts established theories. In the words of leading scientists, this shouldn't happen. The existence of these massive primordial galaxies challenges the foundations of cosmological models and raises questions about our understanding of the universe's early stages. Adding to the intrigue, some early galaxies exhibited extraordinary brightness due to glowing gas that outshone the stars forming within them. Known as extreme emission line galaxies, these luminous objects were far more common in the early universe than previously thought. In fact, nearly 90% of galaxies from this period displayed such features, further complicating our understanding of galaxy evolution. Among these discoveries was Sears, 2112, a spiral galaxy resembling our own Milky Way, which existed when the universe was just 2 billion years old. This galaxy featured a prominent bar of stars and gas, a structure scientists had believed emerged much later in cosmic history. The discovery of barred spiral galaxies in the early universe forces scientists to reconsider key assumptions about galaxy formation. Previously, barred spirals were thought to mark the end of a galaxy's formative years, appearing only in mature galaxies that had undergone billions of years of evolution. Observing such structures in a universe, only 15% of its current age challenges these assumptions and suggests that galaxy evolution may have occurred much faster than anticipated. These revelations underscore the complexity of the universe's early history. The James Webb Space Telescope continues to unveil a cosmos filled with surprises, reshaping our understanding of everything from dark matter to galaxy evolution. Each discovery brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe's infancy, while also reminding us of how much remains to be understood. The early universe, once thought to be a simpler time, now appears as a dynamic, vibrant, and enigmatic epoch that challenges everything we thought we knew.